As a huge Harry Potter fan, I definitely wanted to make one of the Harry Potter characters on the YouTube Halloween videos we are doing this year. So I decided to create a Dobby inspired makeup. Most of it is done with Sculptel by Mold Life and the ears are made with Eva foam and liquid latex with cotton wool. Well, if you want to know how I have created this makeup, please keep watching because I will explain it step by step in the coming video. And if you don't want to miss any of the videos we upload to this YouTube channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The first thing we need to do to create a Dobby is get rid of my hair because I've got quite a lot of it and Dobby doesn't have any. So I'm going to use a bald cap I have by Meron. This is a latex bald cap and it's very easy to use and blend away on the skin. I'm not going to put this step by step in this video because it just saves time in the video to skip this bit. But if you are interested in how to apply and blend away a bald cap, I have a separate video on this. I will put a link to that video in the description box down below so you can watch that if applying and blending a bald cap on your skin is new to you. What I forgot to mention just now was that I was also going to block my eyebrows. I did this using Prozade and powdering it to get rid of the stickiness. And using Prozade for me is just fine because I'm going to work with Sculptel today and then the Prozade protects my eyebrows enough. Might you want to replicate this makeup using something like liquid latex? I would definitely advise you to use wax to cover your eyebrows. Might this be new to you? I've got a separate video I will put a link to in the description box explaining how to cover your eyebrows with sin wax or with a cut and bump wax. For now I'm just going to continue to applying the ears I pre-made before I started making this video. So this is one of the ears. It's very simple. This is just a two millimeter Eva foam. I cut the shape of the ear with and I've used liquid latex and cotton wool to shape them until they were ears. So I've got two of them of course because Dobby has two ears. As the ears are made with Eva foam and liquid latex with cotton wool, they are extremely light so they don't bother me at all. I'm going to continue to mixing up some sculpt gel to create the shapes I need on my face to become Dobby. I'm going to start out with making the nose longer because Dobby of course has a very long nose. And I will probably need to build this up in a few layers before it is high enough. But with sculpt gel you can definitely make layers. Now I don't think I can put any more on there. So I'm just gonna clean my spatula and get some alcohol on there to start sculpting the sculpt gel. And that's the beginning of the nose. I'm gonna let this set and in the meanwhile start doing sculpt gel on my forehead. So I'm gonna quickly mix up a new batch to continue to a different part of my face using the sculpt gel. There's gonna be more of it on my nose, but for now I'm gonna just let this set completely before I will continue adding more to the nose. Time to continue to the cheeks of the Dobby makeup and I have a new batch of sculpt gel once again. So he has a lot of wrinkles from smiling I guess uh, and I want to get these in the makeup as well of course. So let's get that sculpt gel on my skin. That is finally enough with the sculpt gel. I'm gonna let all the layers set for a while and then we're gonna powder this with Color Set Powder by Meron. And just powder all of that sculpt gel. Then 
that is the makeup powder time to continue to the coloring of this makeup and Dobby is kind of a pinkish flesh tone well I've got a few different colors in my makeup at this point the ears are kind of yellowish I've got my regular skin tone and the pinkish color is already in the sculpt gel so I'm gonna try to put it all together and to do this I'm going to use my large titanic stipple brush and the Encore palettes the Dashbow palettes and also the Pro Air Solid palettes I'm going to start out with the pink color in the Encore palette and this probably will take some time to get it all to mix and match together So that is a very pink base. I'm going to continue with regular skin tones to match Dobby better than uh, what it is at this moment. So I'm continuing still with the Encore palette and just the skin tones. And when I change palettes, I will definitely let you know. This is the Wicked palette by Pro Air and there is a very nice light skin tone in there. I'm going to continue with that. Uh, this needs to be activated with Pro Long also by Pro Air. So I'm also switching my brush uh, to work with this palette for a bit. And switching again to a smaller titanic brush this is the brush 106 and the Triller palette because it's got some of those brownish colors I want to use to put shadows in this makeup with so I am taking the color cacao I don't want to put it on there too intensely but Dobby does look a bit tired so I want a bit of that cacao to go under the eye and back to the Encore palette for a bit to make the skin under my eyes just a bit darker than I did with the Pro Air palette and once again a new brush this is a 108 Yes, I think the coloring of our Dobby makeup is almost there. So I'm quickly going to get my costume, which of course isn't more than just a piece of white fabric and get it on to see what I need to do to the makeup to finish this Dobby for today. Well, and there is the costume. As I said, it isn't much, it's just white fabric as Dobby wasn't allowed to wear normal clothing. Um, but mine is very white and Dobby's wasn't. So I have the ash powders by Makeup for Film and Television to fix this. I'm gonna rub them just on the fabric to dirty it up a bit. Um, this one is ash powder in brown. And when you put it on your hand, you can see that it's very lovely to dirty up any costume with. And with dirtying up the white fabric, I think it could definitely pass as the white pillowcase that we wore in the Harry Potter movies. And that brings our video, our makeup tutorial for today to an end. So I had loads of fun creating this makeup for you and I hope you enjoyed watching it as well. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel in the link below to stay tuned on all the videos we're gonna upload to this YouTube channel. For now, I wish you a wonderful day and of course, I hope to see you back here tomorrow when we have a new video for you.